Hey guys, welcome back to another video of crystals and coffee. And today we have a very powerful stone here, very strong um, uh, crystal, stone, mineral, what have you. And this one is going to be hematite, uh, raw hematite. Um, this one's from Morocco. And we're going to talk about hematite and what it can do for us uh, metaphysically and where it comes from physically. So let's get right into it. Uh, hematite is, is a very very powerful stone when it comes to grounding right just boom, just grounding your energy just boom you know down to the ground uh about a couple of feet down down to the ground hematite is one of the only uh stones minerals where its metaphysical properties its its energetical properties are are that strong when it comes to uh, you know a grounding is, is that aggressive right there's a lot of crystals and in, in stones and minerals whose metaphysical properties might help you calm and relax and maybe even ground yourself a little bit. But hematite is very aggressive and probably the most aggressive when it comes to this. Um, hematite, let's talk about where it comes from first. It comes from uh, Morocco, um, up in those mountainous areas in, in, in Morocco. They, that's where they find this stuff. And uh, uh, sometimes you might see hematite with like a red, um, a, a, a reddish kind of hue to it. And uh, uh, sometimes it's all black. Um, and sometimes you'll find hematite in different forms. Like I, I have a big piece right here and some small pieces down here. And some of these pieces have more kind of botryoidal like or, you know, formations on top of them. And some of them are more of a matte finish, whereas other ones are, are really smooth, glossy and shiny. And if you just run your finger along it, you, you can really feel it. Um, this one right here, the big one. Uh, this is like this weighs like two or three pounds or something like that. Uh, I forgot the exact weight, but it, but it weighs a couple pounds and it's quite heavy. And uh, this one right here has has interesting formations because when you when you look at when you look at it right here in the middle band area, um, it's very glossy. It's it's very orbital. It's very botryoidal, and it's also very glossy. It's got a glossy finish. It's very smooth to the touch. And on some of these smaller ones here, I have a more matte finish. You know, not as smooth. Um, Hematite has has many different uh, formations and such, but when you're looking for, when you're looking for a good piece of hematite, uh, a high quality piece of hematite, usually you want to find that those botryoidal formations, those orbs that kind of just um, you know stack on top of each other. You know, it's it's really really cool, and uh, a good a good one also is is to find one that maybe has some red in it, right? Uh, um, the red coloring, I believe, is from uh, iron. Um, he hematite itself um gets affected when, when when lava cools you know i'm not a i'm not a geologist right so i can't give all the the technical names and honestly it's kind of worthless to me for uh, for me to even uh give technical descriptions very right? technical names and 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 you know uh, jargon because i wouldn't have the context behind it and i couldn't offer that to you guys and and maybe you guys wouldn't have it either you, you got to have the context behind what you're saying in order to really um uh, uh, give that technical, uh, those technical terms when it comes to, you know, geology and the formations of, of stones and crystals and minerals. And you also have to be able to present that in a very digestible way, um, in order for somebody to get it in, in order for your audience to get it right. You can be very smart, uh, technically, and you, and you can just be a, uh, you know, a, 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 you have a whole arsenal of, of technical technical words, but if you don't know how to present it, if you don't know how to present it, if you, if you don't know how to teach it or properly um, help somebody that maybe doesn't have as much knowledge as you in the field to explain something, then it's pretty much worthless when it comes to trying to, um, you know, ex explain it. You're trying to use those words to explain something because it's just going to go one year and come out the other and people won't know what the heck you're talking about. So I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't have, and I, I don't have too many technical definitions for this stuff anyway, uh, only that it's botryoidal and botryoidal just means um, it grows and it grows in these like orb kind of formations, you know, and uh, that I can show you guys here with the camera, this beautiful piece and all the other ones as well. Um, hematite is, is the most aggressive. Now let's go into the metaphysical properties. Hematite is the most aggressive stone when it comes to, uh, grounding, uh, uh grounding your energy, just, boom, just taking it down and just very aggressively, just dropping it in, in, in the floor, right? Um, just taking it out, out, out of, from your body into the floor. And hematite is one of those, those, those minerals where if you are going through a really hard time and I'm not talking about just a, you know, um, you know, maybe, maybe you feel like down and out and you can still benefit from it. But if you're going through a really hard time and you're very anxious, 
and you really need to get grounded r like right away, hematite would help with that. Uh, he hematite would be your best bet as far as stone energy goes. You, in, in, any other stone, crystal, mineral um, that just kind of calms you and, and relaxes you um, won't have such a strong, instant and strong uh, and, and aggressive effect as hematite would. So it's very strong in that. And if you're somebody that's already grounded, like if you already have a nice grounding energy, we're, we're all a different makeup of different frequencies, different energies, uh, different characteristics of, of energy. Some people are more um, grounded. Some people are more calm. Some people are more happy. Some people are more, you know, ecstatic. Uh, some people are more mellow. When you find somebody that already has this kind of grounding energy, you might see that represented in, in, in their aura, in their energy, as the color of like brown, right? Maybe a darker brown. And that just means they're, they're very grounded. Um, they're, they're very grounded people. And people like that don't actually need this, this stone to, to, to help them ground. I actually wouldn't, wouldn't recommend uh, a hematite to people that already have the uh, grounding frequencies, the grounding energies uh, within them as their personal frequency, as their personal makeup. Uh, because that's just more... It's like overload of what you already have. Um, but for somebody that's, you know, really up there all the time, you know, uh, and you you, you want to get grounded right away, this is a great, great stone to to, to have. Um, all these here I have on my shop, actually. These 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 pieces come from the lot where um, it's like a medium to large size, and, and this one is by itself, a listing by itself, the, 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 the big, huge, chunky uh, hematite. So... Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and check that out if you're interested in some hematite. And again, if you if you're somebody that is already grounded, I wouldn't recommend this stone or crystal for you. But if you need it, um, it's great. And also, hematite works very well with animals, with pets, um, animals that uh, are very you know like a like a dog that's that's really active and just like barking all the time, you know, and uh, and, <laughs> and maybe you you. <laughs> You wish that, that you, you know your companion would kind of calm down a little bit sometimes and not be so ecstatic and, and, and wild. Um, heck, take a take a hematite uh, beaded necklace or, or something, you know, and, uh, and and put it around your dog on your dog for for a little bit of time to see what happens. You know, they they might feel the effect of it. They may or may not. Um, but hematite is definitely the most aggressive one when it comes to grounding. So. Uh, Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you soon on the next episode of Crystals and Coffee. Cheers.